Welcome again to my course, Working in Child Protection Field. Our topic today is Mine Risk Education, which can be abbreviated to MRE. When you work in the field of child protection, you will often hear about these terms MRE, MRI, or MRM. MRE means Mind Risk Education. MRI means Mind Risk Information. While MRM means Mind Risk Management. You will often hear about these terms especially if you work in an area or a city that has suffered from armed conflicts or war. And the relation between this topic and child protection field is that reports and statistics show that large numbers of victims of the explosive materials incidents are children. Therefore, it was important to do something to prevent these incidents. And this topic, mind risk education, is one of the different response topics or programs that aim at preventing these incidents, which can be delivered or conducted through UN agencies, organizations, or governments. As a matter of fact, these materials may explode on children while they are playing, or when they go to school or another place. These materials may explode on children when touched out of curiosity or when children walk on these materials intentionally or unintentionally. Thus, various activities and programs were designed to prevent these incidents. Mind risk activities and programs aim at educating children and their families and their communities about the dangers of mines also aim at increasing awareness and working to change society's behavior in dealing with the dangers of landmines, explosive remnants of war, and unexploded ordnance. Mine risk education topics may include awareness and campaigns about dangers of mines, types and shapes of mines, signs indicating mines and explosive materials, potential areas for mines and what to do if you see or get information about mines. Also, these topics include consequences of approaching or touching these materials. Also, statistics and stories of such incidents. Such activities and programs can be provided through or alongside with educational activities, courses and workshops also social events also through visits to houses and families also through or along with sport activities also television and social media and through printed materials brochures and photos now let's see what services can child protection sector provides in mine risks domain first raising awareness for children families and communities, case management and referral services for survivors and for those affected, providing psychosocial support to survivors and for those affected, also designing materials such as protection programs, leaflets, brochures and etc. Also providing basic services and medical supplies. Also, changing wrong behaviors among children, families, and communities. And information management for survivors and for those affected, such as numbers, statistics, and needs. If you work in child protection field, you should take all the information and materials of this topic seriously because the smallest piece of information or materials may save lives or prevent incidents, especially among children. And to better understand this topic, let's see this example. How do landmines and other explosive ordnance work like? Landmines and other explosive ordnance can have different shapes and colors. They can be round, 
oval, square, rectangle, or cylindrical. They're often dropped by airplanes and helicopters, or shot by vehicles or soldiers. They're often hidden under the soil or other materials. So always be careful and avoid the areas where fighting took place, because landmines and weapons are very dangerous. How can I recognize dangerous areas? Signs can be red flags, dead animals, a pile of stones or wood, disturbed soil, bunkers and trenches, military equipment or vehicles, destroyed buildings and cars. If you see anything suspicious, avoid the area and inform your teachers or parents. How do I behave in dangerous areas? Landmines and other explosives ordnance are often buried under the soil or other materials. To stay safe, always stay on firm ground like ways or streets. Never pick up anything from the ground that does not belong to you because they have different shapes and colors and can be mistaken as toys. Ask your parents or teachers about the safe areas. What do I have to do if I find a landmine? If you see anything suspicious, stay in position and try to alert other people around you. If no one is around, remember the exact position of the suspicious object. Where is it exactly? Do not touch it and do not move closer to it. Walk back the way you came and inform your teachers or parents about your discovery. How do I mark a landmine? You should avoid marking landmines or dangerous objects. However, if you need to do it, stay on the way and put a warning sign on the side of the way. Never touch the landmine or suspicious object and never leave the way to put the sign closer to the object. Walk back the way you came and inform your teachers or parents. Always try to avoid the dangerous areas and objects. Now it is time to say thanks very much and see you in the next video.